everyone. I'm Charlotte. I'm Beto. And this is our story of how we moved across the Caribbean to Port Douglas. And this is This is our yard. It was very important for this one to get a big yard. So the yard kind of sold us on the house to start with. Well, this is our outdoor patio with a massive barbecue. Since I'm from Brazil, it's very important for me to be able to do some Brazilian barbecue nowadays off and have fun outside here with our girl. So this is our house. Oh look, it's open. Seven Vale Drive. Come in. I didn't want to see this house at the beginning because it didn't have a pool, but Beto made me see it. And as soon as we walked in and saw the kitchen, we kind of fell in love with it. Come. Okay guys, so this is our kitchen. It's open plan, as you can see, to the massive sliding doors of the patio. Um, so we thought it's a really big living space for when uh, we have people over, uh, if we do. Um, uh, but more likely it's good for the dog. Love the floor, love the stone worktops here. Um, I kind of wanted a gas oven, but it's hard to find in Australia a gas oven. So we've got the electric one um, going on. Um, for the house, it's a bit more of Beto style really because I'm from an old house and I would have loved like a big wooden one, but um, our first property ever, easier to take care of, but it was a brand new house. Follow us. <laughs> Puppy gate, not baby gate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the very important things for me was to have two bathrooms in the house. So that's our main bathroom and toilet for the guests. And we have our home privacy and our home suite. That's our closet. Not, so, not massive, but enough for Charlotte's clothes and a little bit of my ones. <laughs> and our own bathroom. Which have two shower heads. So we can have shower together. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, this is the one of the guest rooms. I don't know we have a bed in at the moment. Um, we bought a four bedroom place even though we have no furniture at all. Um, so this is the only one, except for our bedroom, that has any furniture in. What's good about them though, they've all got mirrored double closets. Uh, one of the perks of a new Australian home. And another perk of that new home is gonna be the laundry room. Come this way and have a look. Lots of storage, this one. So this is where the cleaning happens. As you can see, there's a nice space for laundry. What's good, about coming to, what's good about coming to a country with nothing is that you get to furnish a house from the beginning. So I think we did pretty good so far. We've got our living room pretty much done. And here's the couch and the kitchen. But as I said, just really the bedrooms to go. Hi there. Uh, well, we met um, in the Bahamas doing a uh, shark dive and uh, that's what we got married uh, a few years after mm -hmm. and we decided to leave. <laughs> so we were there like five years and then we found other diving work in the Caribbean, uh, BVI and then St Lucia was the last place uh, and we moved all of our stuff each time that we moved including our little cat and it was hard moving all of our stuff every time so when we um, found a job opportunity here through Beto's friend for Diver's Den, we decided to start completely fresh and sold pretty much all of our stuff. 
and came to this country with just some dive gear and a bag of clothes each and a big camera and my cat unfortunately got left in England, bless him, but uh, maybe one day he will get here. Uh, yeah, so we were here for a while, do you want to tell them about how we did the visa? Yeah, we got in Australia, uh, I came here as a student, so, um, and then we are very fortunate to go off a uh, sponsorship through Divers Den. And a year later, we became permanent residents. And that's how we, and when, we start to look for a house. Yeah, well, every country we lived in, he was always looking for a house on every real estate channel. But we were never anywhere <laughs> solid enough to buy or know we were going to be there for a while so here we knew we were so as soon as we got the visa i think we made an offer on this place about five weeks afterwards maybe a month and a half it was pretty fast because we'd been keeping an eye on the market um our real estate agent showed us this one i didn't even want to see it because it didn't have the pool but it does have a jacuzzi which is the compromise there and um, what I was looking for in a place was my budget was about 350 whereas Beto, your budget was? About 450 mm, And we differed there. Uh, and this is very new build for me. I'm not really into those too much. It's a bit white walls, all of that, because I'm used to a lot of character being from England. But I knew it was the best thing to settle for because it's easier to maintain being a new house because uh, it's our first place and very scary to have to maintain it. Um, other things I was looking for was mainly that it was pet friendly. All the stuff in Port Douglas that we found was townhouses that had pet restrictions or very small outdoor spaces. Yeah, that, this house pretty much cover all my, all my wishes. So who won? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would like to have a pool too. Yes. Uh, and uh, has a big yard, bigger than I, I thought. Mm. You have to mow it. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's my that's my first yard, so uh, <laughs> it's a new thing for me, which is a bit of a challenge, but. I think it was nice though to get a brand new place because the Caribbean places we lived in very old style, done in the 70s that's or sure. 80s. The furniture was old and that's just something you accept living on the islands. So to be here and be able to get modern everything, it's really different and not something we could get renting in the Caribbean. And it's also nice that we don't have to do any work in the, mm. in the house because you have none experience on that either. None at all, even though we did look at renovations which I'm glad we didn't get because even furnishing a place is a little bit stressful. Yeah. So I'm happy you got <laughs> a house that you didn't have to do anything in it. Yes. Other than move your stuff in it. And the main reason for buying a house here again was to get a puppy, making her the most expensive puppy in the world, having to buy a house to get her. I wouldn't say in the world. <laughs> People spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> You got your two bathrooms, that was I, your main thing. Yes, I did. Two toilets, very important as well. And um, yeah, anything else? No, yeah. All right, hope to see you soon, guys. Huh?